These are amazing ribs. You actually had him phone in from Dallas? Yeah, worked out this thing with a guy in our office down there. When the company jet flies down there, it's full of dim sum. When it comes back, ribs. <laughs> hey, Dad. Pete? What's going on in here? Ribs and plenty of them. Grab a bib. Oh, actually, I just had a salad. Salad? <laughs> there was bacon in it. Uh, Dad, everything checks out with the uh, mutual NDA that Greenwald sent over, so why don't I set up the meeting for a week from oh, Friday? No good. I'm going to be in New Orleans that weekend. Oh, New Orleans? Great. Uh, we'll send you down there. You can bring some uh, sourdough. When you come back, you'll have an attaché full of etouffee. <laughs> You can't go to New Orleans next weekend. That's when you and mother are supposed to renew your vows. I made it clear to your mother I'm not doing that. I don't know why people even bother renewing their vows. It's easier to just let them lapse. <laughs> Dad, I don't think you did make it clear. I, I have a fitting at five for a morning coat, and mother's asked me to memorize the words to, uh, can you feel the love tonight? Oh, that's a pretty tune. I'm sorry I won't be there to hear it. <laughs> I uh, hope you save some room, Ed, for some genuine Boston cream pie. Why did we send the plane to Boston? For pie. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, I have had it. You two go to your quarters and leave the cat alone, or I'm going to let him out again. Hi, Marlene. The outfit looks great. How did the job interview go? I think the woman in human resources was jealous I'm a petite. You didn't that out, did you? How could I not? Okay, well, here's Leonardo. Thanks for taking care of him. Did he, you know? Whatever you're about to say, he did it on every piece of furniture. Well, don't clean anything yet. I need you to sit with him again on Thursday. Thursday? There's a course at the Learning Annex on how to flirt your way to the perfect job. Oh, I can't. Oh, please. Pretty please. Marlene, shopping and taking silly courses is not the way to get a job. Maybe you should update your resume and try to be nice to people. That's it. I need a new resume. Well, there you go. That's a start. Why don't you go home and get on it? I can't. My parents are coming and I have to pick them up at the airport. Unless somebody else could pick them up for me so I could have a few hours to focus. Karma? Hi, Penny. I am so looking forward to soft shell crabs. I've been walking sideways all day. Uh -huh. Listen. I got us a booth where we can sit side by side, so underwear, no underwear, it's your call. How could you not have chums? Be nice, they have Rolaids. Rolaids are fine. Hello? Penny, I would like you to meet Marlene's parents. Marty and Rose Hoffman, they'll be joining us for dinner. But not French. The cream sauces don't agree with Marty. I'm up for anything close. I'm hypoglycemic, I have to eat in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Plus side, Marlene took the cat. <laughs> something home for your husband? He left the restaurant with an upset stomach. Well, he sure did. Something for Marlene. She doesn't need it. Oh, I just realized you guys must be exhausted, and I'm sure Marlene has a big day planned for you guys, huh? She says she has a job interview tomorrow. No kidding. On a Saturday. Hey, it's San Francisco. Boys kiss boys, people interview on Saturdays. What do we know? <laughs> Great time, you'll do some sightseeing. We don't know where to go. We'll be fine. We'll just sit in the hotel. <laughs> well, I suppose I can show you around a little after my yoga class. Oh, if it's not too much trouble. Darling, let me ask you something, if you don't mind. This yoga you teach, running around in a leotard all day, 
This is a job for a woman your age. Well, I'm not that old. You're not that young. Hey, you know what? I think we're ready to go. I'll give you a ride to your hotel. Oh, don't be silly. You go home to your sick husband. We'll find our way. Okay, well, at least let me get you a cab. Well, I can't take a cab. Between the smell and the bad shocks, I get sick. Okay, well, there's a, uh, there's a streetcar that lets you out right in front of your hotel. Oh, I can't handle the step up with my hip. I suppose you could walk. It's cold. And it's so far. Uh, hey, why don't I give you a ride? It's not too much trouble. 